Hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Fly Day Facts. What we're doing today is we're going to be talking about the top apps I think you should have on your iPad or non-Apple branded tablet if you're a private pilot. I hope you had a good week, I hope you managed to get up and go flying somewhere, went somewhere nice, had a good trip. If you did, tell me all about it in the comments, I'd love to know where you've been this week. That sounded a bit like a suspicious girlfriend, sorry. I don't mean like, I want to know where you've been this week, I mean I just, you know, I'd love to know where you've been this week. Anywhere nice? Just before we start, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Stefan, I'm a private pilot. I run this YouTube channel to share my pilot adventures, tips and tricks if you're learning to become a pilot or if you're wondering what to do with your private pilot's license. And also heaps of travel content as well from all the places that I go and visit. Now I'm not talking about electronic flight bag apps on here. So Oz Runways, which I use a lot, Avplan EFB, which I've also used, great apps. There's four flight in the US, but we're not talking about those today. What I'm talking about are some of the little apps which are really useful to help in your training, but also to help you when you are flight planning to understand the weather and just to make sure that you're ahead of the aircraft before you go ahead and take that flight. So what I want to do is share my top five apps with you, the, the apps that I have on my iPad, which are invaluable for me in the cockpit on those long flights. As usual, let's stick 600 feet on the altimeter and let's get straight into my top five apps that you should have as a private pilot. Windy. This isn't an app to track how much curry you had last night. It's actually a really useful meteorological forecasting tool. All you do is you type in a location and it will show you the forecast weather, temperature, precipitation and wind. But the power with Windy is you can then close that little panel down, drag the slider across to the day you're trying to fly and you can see what the weather's going to be for that day. You can also change your main overlay from wind to cloud. There's a temperature overlay and so on. But I love this app because it just puts everything together in a really visual way. Cirrus Pro Flight. Now it's more for the Cirrus pilots out there but even if you're not flying a Cirrus you can still use this for a couple of functions. All you do is you load your aircraft, for example we've got Tango Delta Sierra here, put in all the basic weights, enter the weights for yourself, your co-pilot, any passengers, any baggage and you're presented with a really cool interactive weight and balance screen. All you need to do is adjust the fuel until you're within the envelope or click on the max button and it will automatically do that for you and you know you're still within the envelope. Live ATC and a lot of you pilots might be familiar with it but for student pilots this is a really useful one for you especially if you're a little bit nervous with all those radio calls. You just tap on a country, you tap on the airport and listen to a live feed of all the air traffic control communications. And a pro tip, if you like walking or running or any kind of activity where you're listening to music, if you're learning to become a pilot, stop listening to Spotify and start listening to Live ATC. This is a bit of a toy more than anything else, but it's a good toy. Flight Radar 24 is a really cool way of tracking flights. You can pull up a map, tap on the plane that you're looking at and you get all this information about that aircraft. But one of the really cool features is the AR or augmented reality feature. Point the app into the sky at the plane you're looking at and it will give you the same information because the app knows exactly what that plane is and, and where it is. It's very cool. And number five, now it's not actually an app per se, but it's a web app. If you go to satview.bom.gov.au, choose the infrared and zero option, and this plots temperature as color ranges, making it really easy to see those deep convective areas typically associated with things like thunderstorms. Now remember, this isn't a forecast, it's just a view of what's been happening but if you click on the play button you can see an animation of what's been happening recently and so it gives you a bit of a clue on what the trend might be of any weather fronts or any thunderstorms that might be moving ahead into your path and so those are my top five apps now like I say there's still the electronic flight bag apps Oz Runways, Avplan EFB I have those and I use those they're excellent but I didn't really want to cover them here today I just wanted to talk about those smaller apps that just make your life as a private pilot easier I would love to hear what your top five apps are I bet you've got some ideas which I didn't cover here. You're probably thinking, why did he talk about that when this app is a million times better? Do let me know because I'd love to learn from your experience as well and it really helps the pilot community of all the other subscribers here on the channel. So let us know in the comments below what your top apps are on your iPad. I keep saying iPad, but I just want to make sure you know, I mean non-brand specific digital rectangle. I hope you found that useful. Thanks as always for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, then do make sure you do. There's a weekly travel and pilot video that comes out. Check out this video here if you haven't seen it already. I hope you find that interesting. Otherwise, give us a like if you enjoyed that video. It always means a lot to know you're enjoying the content. Thank you as always for watching. Have a great weekend and I'll catch you again next week.